This is Bella Shea Butter. It's unrefined, raw, pure, organic. This is 20 ounces. Now the fact that it is raw and unrefined, that tells me immediately that it has a higher nutrient content and it has better natural healthy properties. And since it's unrefined, it hasn't been refined. And that means that no chemicals were added. So this is definitely a natural product. Also, being raw and unrefined means that it's going to last up to two years. But keep in mind that over time, the nutrients will break down. Also, nutrients can be broken down by exposure to the air or sunlight. And you'll notice that this came packed in a bag. And then there is a plastic bag inside this bag. So you really want to keep it inside this plastic bag, sealed really well, maybe push some air out of it to keep it from being exposed to the air and the elements and then put it into this bag to keep it out of light, sunlight especially. Ideally, it should be kept in a constant cool temperature of about 50 degrees, but I'll just keep it in some of the cooler places of my home. Okay, now in looking at this Bella Shea Butter, I look at it and I feel pretty confident that it is what they say it is, that it is actually Shea Butter. And it looks pretty unrefined to me and pretty pure and raw. And what I'm looking at is the color. It's almost an ivory. It has maybe just barely a tint of a light yellow to it, but it's pretty. it looks pretty ivory. And that tells me that it is Shea Butter. What a lot of people may not know or realize is that there is another butter called African butter that is actually being passed off as shea butter. But this African butter has a pretty dark yellow color. It's from a different plant or a different uh, tree than the shea butter is from. Now, shea butter is much creamier than African butter, and this Bella butter that I've been using is pretty creamy. I'm just showing you how easily it is to scoop this out, how creamy it is. This shea butter has a slight odor that's very common because the nut of the shea tree is roasted in the process of making the butter, and this gives the butter that smoky smell. But I add in essential oils to give it a nice scent, and I also mix shea butter with coconut oil or jojoba oil, sometimes even cocoa butter. I'm gonna show you how how soft this actually is. Now you can store shea butter in the refrigerator or you can just keep it in a cool dry place. If you store it in the refrigerator then you want to get it at room temperature before you're working with it or applying it. Also shea butter is high in fatty acids. It's just a rich butter for your skin. It's natural and you don't have to worry about chemicals. These fatty acids not only soften and moisturize but they also have anti-inflammatory properties and antibacterial properties. So not only are you moisturizing your skin, but if you have eczema or you have some blemishes or acne issues, this will clear it up for sure. Also, you can use shea butter on your hair. You can use it as a shaving cream. There's so much you can use it for. It's really one of the best natural products on the market to protect and heal your skin and improve your skin. Shea butter also has phytosterols, which have regenerating properties. If you might want to get a little industrious and a little adventurous, you could melt down shea butter in a double boiler and then whip it into a cream. It's great. Actually, there's a lot of videos on YouTube and the internet showing you how easy this is to do. So why not add this to your list of new things to do in 2016 or something different to try? You can make some extra and share it with friends or give us gifts. And I recommend getting and using this Bella Shea Butter. I feel it's a great product.